Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. So we're gonna make a Luba experiment video. So one of the things I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna put a wireless security camera on Luba. It runs off batteries and it's motion activated. So it won't sit there and just record all the time. But if somebody walks by Luba, then it will record and send me a notification. And I can also select the camera and choose a live stream and see what Luba is doing if it's out mowing. This is super nerdy, I know, but you can't really, when you're remote from Luba, you can't control where it goes. Like you can when you're Bluetooth, you know how you can control it. Well, I kind of figured out a way around that. So Luba has areas all over my yard here that it mows. I can just obviously tell it to go mow that area and then this security camera will go to that area of the yard. So, <laughs> and if it really doesn't need to be mowed, I can just, you know, tell it to go fast and leave the blade deck up all the way. So it doesn't matter. You can cancel it and send it home at any time. Anyway, once you get Luba to the part of the yard you wanna see and realize there's nothing there, just say go home and it goes back home. This uh, Blink camera system, I don't know, uh, I've been using it for years. I'm not sure if I recommend it or not because it's from the big evil Amazon corporation. But if you're comfortable doing business with Amazon, um, they're pretty nifty. They don't record continuously. They just record when there's motion. I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can check them out if you want. I don't really know how I'm going to attach this to Luba. Probably double stick tape just for fun. I don't know. If it gets hot enough, that may, it may fall off somewhere in the yard. <laughs> we'll just see what happens. There's not really a good spot to put it because you don't want to put it behind the stop button because that's where the GPS antenna is. That needs to remain clear. There is a little note in the plastic back there that says do not cover and that's pretty obvious. I may have to sacrifice the rain sensor just because that's about the only other place that I could tape this down to Luba. So like I was saying, you don't want to put anything back here because that's where the GPS receiver is. And you can't really cover up the buttons because you need to use those. So what I was thinking is just putting the camera like right there behind the ultrasonic sensors so it doesn't mess with anything. The only bad thing about that is it kind of points down because it's on an angle here, but it is what it is. That's uh, pretty much the only option I have. So we're going to go ahead and attach this to Luba permanently. Well, not permanently, just with tape. And then we will have some experimentation to see if it actually works or if it's a stupid idea. What we're going to use is this double-sided automotive tape. So now I'm going to, let's see, I'm probably going to tape it down just right there. Alright, so I've got some tape stuck to the bottom of this. Now let's go ahead and peel it off and stick it on. Alright, so here is the final setup. It actually is wide angle enough to, even though it's pointed down a little it still gets quite high so this may be an interesting project let's uh, go drive it around and see if it works but what would be cool Mamotion in a future Luba product if you could put a wide-angle camera on it somewhere and like you could schedule it to do a yard patrol I don't know that would be awesome have like an AI in there that can detect people. So if it sees a person while it's on yard patrol, then it sends you an alert. That's a million dollar idea right there. It's easy to make ideas. It's hard to make them reality. So you, <laughs> it might be too cost prohibitive to do all this. Putting in an AI, enough computer power, better Wi-Fi antennas, maybe a cellular modem. All these ideas I'm just uh, throwing them at Mamotion's lap here, but you never know. Maybe uh, once Luba takes off and they get their commercial version out, 
and they start to make more money. Maybe then we'll get some fun products like uh, cameras and stuff in there. Let's go ahead and get this attached and we'll start experimenting here. All right, so you join me here in the app. I am going to tell Luba to drive to the backyard to cut this area and then I will switch over to the security camera app and we will see if it actually works. So let's go, start. All right, so now we are switching over. Not that one, not that one, this one. We want Lubacam, full screen. And there it is, guys. This is Luba Live. <laughs> oh, I can hear myself. See, it is live, just so you know. Let me go up here and walk in front of Luba so you see me. Okay, I'm walking in front of Luba, and now I'm walking around. This is freaking greatness. Now, I don't know if this little camera's Wi-Fi range is going to reach all the way to the very backyard. Let me turn on the other camera here. So here you go. Video inception here. I'm videoing the video, but so far the Wi-Fi is reaching. We're pretty far away from the house. If anybody is curious, uh-oh, I have to hit continue. These little cameras aren't meant to continuously stream because they're battery powered. So after it's been running a while, they do ask you if you want to continue. It looks like it's gonna work pretty much all the way back here in the backyard. The area I have it going to is just an area over here near the flower bed. We are starting to get a little bit of video delay, so that might be because of the range, the Wi Fi distance here. Uh-oh, starting to cut out. So this is the area that Luba's gonna mow here, just right next to these flowers, and it's just a, a long little strip. I'm gonna go back to the house and leave Luba out here, and I'll check back in with the video here in just a second. So this is quite a ways away from the house, so I'm about halfway back to the house now. You can see there's the house. And where Luba was is way back there by that row of trees. Not sure if you can even see it, but it's doing its thing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go inside and sit at the dining table and see if I can pull up the camera. Okay, so you join me here in my mom's kitchen. We are going to click on Luba cam here. Come here and look at this, mom. I can pull up this camera here. It's loading loading and there it is there is luba mowing <laughs> what do you think of that pretty neat huh looks like it bumped up against that tree there and now it's backing up can we make that wide oh there you see is his front bumper yeah so there it is that's a a live picture from the very back part of the yard. So I sent Luba out to another area of the very backyard. So right now it's just going back and forth. And it's headed back towards the house. It's just doing a little back and forth pattern right now. I have it set to a maximum speed because it doesn't need to do a good job back there. So it's probably bouncing around quite a bit more than normal. All right, so here we are about 30 minutes later. It's making its way through this section of the backyard, just going back and forth still. I told it to do the perimeter last because I 
plan on canceling it before it actually does the perimeter. So I just stopped Luba and told it to come home. Okay, Luba's moving now. So we'll switch over to the security camera feed. So we're watching Luba return from its work. You can see my neighbor over there mowing on his brush hog. Hopefully he doesn't run over Luba. So now you're starting to be able to see me here standing next to the house. <laughs> this is greatness, guys. I'm going to love having this security camera on Luba. Because I can just go to any part of the yard that I need to go to and hit the pause button and it will stay right there. And then I have a camera just right there in the yard that I can control from anywhere. So here it comes. And it's dead center in its little tracks. You can see <laughs> it left twice today and came back from the same uh, place. Now you can kind of hear me talking in the app too, probably. Now you can kind of hear me talking in the app too, probably. And there you go. Uh oh. I'm going to have to block that address out. Uh -oh. We will end this episode on the security camera. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one. This is several hours later, and I am now back at my house, 40 miles away from Luba right now, and I can still see the security camera just as good as I could when I was sitting there with Luba. So this is going to be awesome. I'm so glad I rigged up a way for this to work.